Hey guys, I made a peacock wall decor with a color theme of black and gold. I incorporated LED strip lighting into this decor and I am super excited to share with you guys how I made this. Now let's go ahead and get started. I will be using the re 8 by 10 photo frames that I got from the Dollar Tree. And I'm going to be making use of just the glass. I cleaned the glass properly before I started the project because I'm going to be making use of a peacock stencil that I got online. And this is the measurements of this particular one that I used and I will leave a link for this peacock stencil in the description box below. I align the peacock stencil properly on the glass and then I'm holding it down with tape. I will be spray painting it with a gold rust oleum spray paint and then waiting for about 4-5 to five minutes and taking off the tape and the stencil and this is what it looks like. Super easy, right? These are decorative edge coverings and the link will be in the description box below. I spray painted them gold and I will glue them at all the four corners of the glass. If you're new to my channel, it's so great to have you here. Now don't forget to click on the subscribe button so you don't miss out on any of my latest videos. Now these are gems that I'm going to be using to decorate my peacock, starting with the larger ones. And then going up, I will be using smaller sizes. I used smaller gems for the crown and then I continued using smaller gems for this part here and I'm using school glue to attach the gems to the peacock because it was really hard using the hot glue so this was safer for me. This is a piece of wood that I spray painted black and I also used alphabet blocks from the Dollar Tree and spray painted them black too. This is the black gloss spray paint that I used and it took a while to dry so I left both the blocks and the wood overnight to dry. I left the bottom part because I'm going to be gluing it to the wood. So this is how I'm going to be gluing the four blocks to the glass. I turned the glass over and then I will be using a strong adhesive. I'm using any 6000 glue and a hot glue gun. This is just to keep it in place while I continue with the project. I did this for all three glasses and started gluing all of them to the board. And designing the middle is on a different side because I turned the stencil to the opposite side and spray painted it. That's why it looks that way. This is the LED lighting that I will be adding to my design and the link will be in the description box below. I will be gluing it all around the design. On the strips, there are marks where you can cut right here. This is what it looks like. This is the mark for cutting. And I took off this first part of the strip using a pair of scissors using that same mark because I won't be needing it. It comes with a self-adhesive backing, but I'm going to be turning it to face inside. So I will be gluing the light facing inside with the adhesive backing facing outside. I'm using the mark that's meant for cutting. And after applying the hot glue, I'm using that mark to glue it onto the wood just to be on the safe side because of the heat coming out from the hot glue gun. of the strip showing by the side, I will be using gold bling wrap. To mount the design on the wall, you can either use hooks or command strips. I used this trim that I got from Walmart to decorate the sides. I glued it on using a hot glue gun. Now I want you guys to look at the blocks that I used to support the glass. It's not really showing that much. But anyway, you can still see it. 
but I like it because it adds to the design. I really love how this wall decor turned out. And it looks like I made my own shadow boxes. I used black for the wood, but then you can use white or any other color of your choice and it would still look pretty. Let me know in the comments section below what you guys think about this super easy peacock wall decor. And remember to like and share. Thank you so much for watching. I have other videos linked in the description box below. Do check them out and don't forget to click on the subscribe button.